Natalie Stake Doucet spent 12 years nursing in Quebec before quitting this year. Workload, um, scheduling, um, and basically the non-existence of work-life balance. She left once before, but went back during COVID out of duty. It was, it was a hellscape, honestly. I mean, it was, I still have nightmares about it. Across Canada, hers is a common theme. I think the most fundamental thing is to, for them to feel valued. They have been working extremely hard in conditions amidst the pandemic, the opioid crisis and burnout rates and moral distress that is increasingly challenging. Today, the PM was asked when Canadians can expect change. We just announced $2 billion uh, to flow to the provinces. But funding takes time to flow and staff shortages are already shutting emergency rooms in almost every province, all as healthcare workers call for help. We went to medical school to look after patients, not to fill in forms and to do charts. Less administrative work and more support staff in the short term. IT staff, secretarial staff, portering staff, which means we need staff to help patients not to be alone all the time. Looking ahead, some workers say things like free mental health care, flexible schedules and benefits for remote service like student loan or tax relief would help keep them in the field. Back in Montreal, Stake Doucet says if things do get better, she'll answer the call again. I miss it, <laughs> being seeing patients uh, every day, but um, I'm not ready to give my mental and physical health <laughs> for that. Until then, she'll watch and hope. Anita Bath, CBC News, Vancouver.